Hello children, today in this video we will talk about famous hockey player Major Dhyan Chand. Major Dhyan Chand was born on 29th August 1905. He was an Indian hockey player. He is known for extraordinary goal scoring feats. He has won three Olympic gold medals in 1928, 1932 and 1936. Now in this lesson, we will talk about the Olympic Hockey Finals held in the year 1936 in Berlin, Germany. Saturday 15th August 1936. It was the day of the Hockey Finals. During the Olympic events held in Berlin, Germany, Germany had defeated several teams to enter the finals against the Indian team. They were the hosts of the Olympics and they were sure of their victory. Perhaps that was the reason why their ruler Hitler had himself come to watch the match. All the day before it had rained heavily. The entire field had become waterlogged. But 15th August being the last day of the games, it was not possible to postpone the match any further. The Indian team was a little under pressure as they had lost to Germany in the practice match and they were not very comfortable with the wet ground. Now let us look at some meanings. Host means a person who receives or entertains other people as guests. Sure of, certain to do something. Waterlogged, full of water. Postpone, cause or arrange for something to take place at a time later than that first scheduled. The 1936 Olympics hockey finals was held in Berlin, Germany. This match was against Germany and India. German team was a strong team and they had defeated several other teams to enter finals. They were sure that they would win the match. That is why their ruler Hitler had himself come to see the match. The day before the finals it had rained heavily and therefore the entire field was waterlogged or filled with water. As it was the last day of the games, it was not possible to reschedule this match. The Indian team was under pressure. First, because they had lost the practice match against Germany and secondly, they were not comfortable with wet ground. About 40,000 people had gathered in the hockey stadium to cheer Germany against India. The Maharaja of Baroda Strait, the Prince of Bhopal and few other Indians had also come to support the Indian team. The match started exactly at 11 am. The German team had adopted a novel strategy of using the Indian technique of short distance passes against the Indian team itself. They had resorted to a very aggressive play. The Indian team was offering an equally strong resistance. No team could make a goal during the first half hour. During the 32nd minute, Roop Singh scored the first goal, hitting the ball towards the goal post from a difficult angle. Now let us see some meanings. Novel means new or unusual. Aggressive means behaving or done in a determined and forceful way. Resistance means opposed. Strategy, a plan of action designed to achieve something. Technique, skillful or efficient way of doing or achieving. Now to support the Indian team, the Maharaja of Baroda state, the Prince of Bhopal and a few other Indians had come. On the other hand, 40,000 people had come to cheer the German team. The match started at 11 am. The German team used the Indian technique against the Indian team. They were very aggressive but the Indian team also gave very strong resistance. In the first half hour, neither the German or the Indian team were able to score. The first goal was scored by Indian team. Roop Singh during the 32nd minute scored the first goal. In the second half of the match, the Indian team found a firm footing. The entire team played as one and made three more goals against Germany.
Two of them were made by the captain of the Indian team, Dhyan Chand. However, the German players were also trying their level best to win. They too succeeded in making one goal. Firm footing means solid foundation. Level best, the greatest possible degree. So, in the second half, the Indian team scored three more goals and out of this, two goals were scored by Dhyan Chand, who was the captain of the Indian team. Germany also scored one goal. Now, only a few last minutes were left. Dhyan Chand had resolved to win the match at any cost, without allowing Germany to make any more goals. His spiked shoes were making it difficult for him to run fast on the wet ground. He removed the shoes and the socks and began to run barefoot. Using his amazing skill of dribbling and his near magical game, he began to send one pass after another to the players in the D, that is, in the defenders or opponents area from where they could make goals. They too did not let the passes go waste. The Indian team scored three more goals. Dhyan Chand could have easily made the goals himself from his own position. But he never played a selfish game. Skillfully, he took the ball away from the German defenders and made it possible for the players in the D to score goals. Now let us look at some meanings. Barefoot, wear nothing on foot. Dribbling, take the ball past opponents with slight touches of the hockey stick. Resolved, firmly determined to do something. Skillfully, with skill. At any cost, regardless of the price to be paid or the effort needed. In the last few minutes, Dhyan Chand was determined to win the match at any cost, without allowing Germany to make any more goals. He found it difficult to run fast on the wet ground, so he removed his shoes and socks. Now children, do you remember why the ground was wet? Yes, because it had rained heavily the day before the match. Dhyan Chand started passing the ball to his Team. The Indian team scored three more goals. Dhyan Chand was not a selfish player. Even though he could have made the goals himself, he still passed the ball to his team members. The German strategy had proved fruitless. A defeat stared them in the face. Some of the frustrated German players then resorted to a rough game. The German goalkeeper pounced on Dhyan Chand and hurt him. But Dhyan Chand was a true soldier. After a little first aid, he immediately returned to the field and held the spectators spellbound with his game. At last, he scored the last goal of the match, just as the game drew to a close. The Indian team had won third time in a row. It was a hat-trick. Indians were the third time winners of the Olympic gold medal. Now let us look at some meanings. Fruitless means useless or unproductive. Frustrated, feeling annoyance resulting from inability to achieve something. Pounced, spring forward suddenly so as to attack. Spellbound, hold the complete attention of someone. Spectator, person who watches a game. So the German team had realized that they might lose the match and therefore they became more aggressive and violent. Dhyan Chand was also hurt. However, he did not give up and after a little first aid, he returned to play the game. Dhyan Chand scored the last goal of the match and the Indian team won. Indian team won the Olympic gold medal for the third time in a row. Although Hitler left the stadium before the match was over, he was impressed by Dhyan Chand's game. It is said that the German dictator had offered Dhyan Chand a higher salary and rank in the German army if he agreed to play on behalf of Germany. But Dhyan Chand turned down the offer. After the celebrated victory in the Olympics, 
Hitler awarded a special gold medal to Dhyan Chand. You may be aware that hockey is a national sport. Major Dhyan Chand's birthday, August 29th, is celebrated as National Sports Day in India. The famous National Stadium in Delhi is named after the great hero Dhyan Chand. Who knows perhaps one of you may carry the legacy of Dhyan Chand further and win great glory for our country. Meanings Impressed means feeling admiration or respect for someone. Legacy Something left or handed down by a predecessor. Now Hitler was impressed by Dhyan Chand's game and he even offered him a place on the German team. He offered Dhyan Chand a high salary and rank in the German army. But Ch Dhyan Chand refused to accept this offer. Hitler awarded a special gold medal to Dhyan Chand. Because of Major Dhyan Chand's impressive contribution to hockey, his birthday, that is 29th August, is celebrated as National Sports Day in India. And National Stadium in Delhi is named after him. Hockey is the national sport of India. The lifeless hockey stick used to come alive in the hands of Dhyan Chand. When he dribbled the ball, just wouldn't leave his stick. Some people even stole his sticks and broke them open to see whether they contained a special glue or magnet. Dhyan Chand was even made to play with other ordinary sticks. But even then his play was as charismatic as ever. Charismatic means having a charm which inspires devotion in others. Now because Dhyan Chand was so good with his hockey stick, people used to feel that there is something different or special about his stick. So people also stole it and broke it to see if it had some special glue or magnet inside. He was even made to play with ordinary sticks but even then he played very well. Dhyan Chand's real name was Dhyan Singh. He was a soldier in the Indian Army. He couldn't practice his game during the day because he used to be busy on his duty as a soldier. That is why he used to practice at night in moonlight. It is believed that his coach fondly began to call him Dhyan Chand. Chand meaning moon. The name stayed with him. So, what was the real name of Major Dhyan Chand? It was Dhyan Singh. He was a soldier in the Indian Army and because of his duties, he was not able to practice during the day. And he used to practice at night. And because he used to practice in the moonlight, his coach started calling him Dhyan Chand. Now children, with this we finish explanation for this lesson. Thank you for listening. Goodbye and take care.